Okay. Advertisements. We were asked to analyze two specific advertisements and promotions in relation to this market using specific examples. What we looked at in class was Australian beef, the greatest campaign, and I showed you the Scotch beef campaign from back home as well. So we're going to, for our sins, watch these again, but have a look at who you think they're targeted to. How are they trying to make, how are they trying to convince you that this is the best meat, the best beef, and different marketing ideas. Have a think as we watch them again. The sound quality might not be superb um, because it's recording on my mic, but you'll get the idea. Well, that was terrible quality video, sorry about that, but you get the gist, okay? Um, you can find it online, oops, um, if you want. So it's attempting to be humorous with a song, obviously it's trying to be catchy to stick in your head. It claims that Australian beef is the best. Uh, they, they use a lot of Australian stereotypes, okay? So they have people on the barbecue, they talk about um, going to your hardware store, I think it's a reference to Bunnings to get like a, a sanger. And yeah, I think, the females are in the food, so it could be argued that it's been directed towards women. That's, you know, it's up to you, I think, I guess. It's maybe um, me just looking into that a bit much. But the next one definitely is targeted to women. But, um, yeah, it's up to you what you think. But they're trying to be humorous. They're trying to claim that Australian beef is the best and they use stereotypes. And, yeah, I think that's a good way to to look at that video again, maybe watch it on your own and come up with your own conclusions. But if you were asked in your HSC to describe it, um, I would use these bullet points here. Okay, the next one. I'm sorry if the video is rubbish, but you get the idea. You can watch them online, I'll put the link somewhere. Okay, so again, attempting to be humorous, does use a lot of stereotypes. The guy's called Glenn, um, he wears a kilt and he lives in the middle of nowhere. That's all we do in Scotland, obviously. Um, trying to claim Scotch beef is the best. It's definitely targeted at women and they use Scottish scenery to promote higher quality. Um, so you see this kind of grubby urban environment versus this clean freshwater, green grass sort of environment as well. Um, and one thing I noticed if you watch that video back is when they cut to the image of the guy in the kilt, it's, it's very bright. All the, the colors they use are quite bright. And then when you look at the guy living in the city, they kind of dull it down. And you may have noticed this in other adverts, but it's um, an advertising technique to associate sort of higher quality um, when you have these bright colors with lower quality, when you have these sort of dull colors. So. That's something to be picked up on as well, which is quite interesting. So that's your two adverts. Um, you know, this has come up quite a lot in HSC about the adverts. So it's not, you know, mentally taxing, but you need to kind of recall these and, and come up with your own ideas that how you interpret those adverts. But these are my interpretations. Okay, moving on to technology. Evaluate one technology, <laughs> excuse me, evaluate one technology used to improve specific quality and quantity of the product produced. So one technology. So I'm gonna give you more than one because I'm a legend. So new technology often increases the ease at which a product can be produced slash transported. 
For beef, this could include modern transportation, like refrigerated lorries, the use of high quality feed that allows cattle to reach market specs quicker, um, modified atmospheric packaging, and artificial embryo transfer and genetic engineering, and computerized selling systems. So these are all things that can increase the production of beef. I'll just show you some images. So obviously, um, refrigerated lorries have not been around forever. <coughs> Excuse me. So if I have just, you know, my amazing Mitsubishi Lancer and I put some beef in the boot, I wouldn't be able to drive it very far before that beef went off. Um, but if I had a fancy fridge, um, refrigerated van, then the beef is obviously going to last longer. So that is a technology that increases production. If I can chill the beef for longer, I can then transport it further and that would increase the amount of beef that I'd be able to sell um, around the country. Okay. The, the vacuum pact, um, again, has the same sort of thing. It allows you to increase the shelf life of, of the meat. And that's a technology that, again, hasn't been around forever. Uh, you saw the adverts that we just watched, they wrapped it in paper. Um, that wouldn't keep it um, very, very fresh for long. This would keep it um, fresh for much longer as well. So that's an easy, um, nice, explainable tech. Talked about the computerized systems, the labeling systems. This makes it easier to sell um, because everything's computerized. You can buy and sell things once they have these labels on them and that allows you to um, direct your stock to an area quicker, okay? So you're not handwriting it. So these are things that we maybe don't think about, but these are fantastic technologies that allow us to um, move the beef quicker, give it a longer shelf life, and that also improves the production of beef and then the last thing we did when Ben was here Ben Willoughby was the artificial insemination okay this is definitely going to increase my yield um, I talked about the breeding um, a few slides ago and you pick you know your your bull and your your cow but if you can do AI if you can afford to do it obviously it costs money you're going to really kind of be more specific about what traits you can get in your cattle, but you're also gonna almost guarantee, not 99% probably of the time, that your your cow will get pregnant, and that's obviously gonna increase the yield. If I have 100 uh, cows, for example, and I want 100 to get pregnant, and I try to do it naturally, perhaps 60% will get pregnant naturally. If I use AI, perhaps 90 will get pregnant. So I've therefore increased my yield. I've got 30 more cattle than I would have had, had I not used this new technology. So we know all this stuff, but it's just kind of refreshing it and keeping it on our head. And just have these, you've got it there. Sometimes when you, you maybe get to the HSC or you look at the question, you're like, oh God, what's it saying? But you've got it all there. Um, it's not um, jargon filled. We're not looking for these big, huge explanations. We just want you to provide some examples and explain how that technology has helped increase the yield and quality. Okay, may want to pause here. Again, revise your notes or we'll keep on chucking along.